What's up guys? Coach David checking in. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to show my bench press warm up. Typically uh, in my off season I do uh, both chest and leg day together. Um, I am currently doing that for my strength days. However, like today, my hypertrophy days are high rep. Um, I'm actually splitting up my squat or leg work and chest work into two separate days so I can put a little more emphasis on it. With um, me being in the industry and lifting as long as I have been since 2005, um, I've come across injuries here and there um, and now I'm at the point where I'm doing everything I can to make as much progress as I can. However, it's very small and very slow progress so I need to make sure my body is healthy as possible and joints. Um, so with that being said, um, I don't know if you guys know who Bryce Lewis is, but he is currently the national champion. And a few years ago, I got my hands on some of his videos uh, where he goes through his warm-ups, and it's phenomenal. So I've basically over the years just taken bits and pieces from that, as well as other athletes, and kind of come up with my own warm-up routine. Um, so, I'm going to walk you through that. Check it out. Alright guys, you might have seen this one before. It is my barbell bent over rows. Yeah, getting the back nice and warm. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that back is very much so involved in bench press. A lot of back actually. Here are some stiff legs. Legs are also included in bench press. However, I'm especially doing this due to the fact that my hamstrings are destroyed. And that's a backup walk. Just kidding. You don't have to do that. Alright. And then actually a lot of these you're going to see in my squat routine as well. However, um, in bench you have a lot of hip drive. So I try and get those nice and warm and mobile so that when I lay down on the bench I can go ahead and get really into position. Uh, these are leg swings. Just trying to get a little blood and fluid in my hips. And here are some kicks. Um, again, my hamstrings are fried and these are actually a great stretch for your hamstrings. And when my leg swings back, I actually try and catch it with my glute, so I get a little glute warmth going. Everything you're doing for the most part are reps of 10. Um, just a good rule of thumb I use to get everything nice and toasty without wearing it out too much. Um, again, with uh, a lot of these movements, you'll see me doing them on my squat as well. However, I like to just get everything nice and warm. <sighs> and some of these I won't do twice like I had mentioned before um, as I've already done them. Um, or sometimes I will get the leg swings and things like that. And Right. And again, trying to warm up my back and glutes. This is a great one. Again, 10 and 10-ish. A lot of people tend to stretch prior to working out and I just don't like that. Um, some of you maybe heard the comparison of taking a rubber band, toss it in the freezer, and then going to stretch it when it's as frozen or cold and it just snaps. Um, it's kind of the same thing with a lot of your muscles. I like to just go through, warm them up without getting any true stretching in. And just working on those hips, get them nice and toasty. Again, with bench you get a lot of leg drive and, and hip drive. Your way to do that is by squeezing the glutes. And then here are some cat stretches. Uh, T1 through 5 in my back are fused. Um, it's so essentially right below the shoulders going down to my mid back. Um, so you'll see some, some flatness and some areas that doesn't want to uh, round out. 
And here I am just... This isn't really much of a stretch as much as it's a warm-up again. Uh, just getting some fluid in my lats. Here's a dynamic stretch. Alright, and as far as foam rolling is concerned, I don't like to do a whole lot of it prior to lifting. There's some, been some studies that show that doing too much foam rolling, you can actually uh, deactivate muscle, um, or essentially just limit the, the connection. Um, so I'll just make a few passes in my quads. Um, I try and do this every day anyways, just to keep everything and all the uh, scar tissue slightly broken up. Um, basically you have, your muscles are, are very tight, and with the tightness comes friction, so this moving it around, breaking everything up a little bit, just gives you some relief. And my hamstrings are fried, that was very painful. And same thing with my back especially with my back due to the fusion and the amount of scar tissue that's still in there. A lot, uh, quite a bit of my, my back is still numb. Like you can't, I can't feel anything if you were to come up and touch me in, in certain spots. But this has helped a lot as far as uh, getting feeling back. So for those of you who have had any type of, of surgeries, I highly suggest doing some foam rolling. And there's just some banded pull aparts get my rear delts and my traps nice and warm um, with bench you're essentially trying to do this motion on the way down kind of pull the bar apart so it's just a good good cue to do prior to to benching anyways and some banded rows again I think this whole warm-up is about 10 minutes so some of you especially some of the older clients used to go in the gym and they would be in there for 30 minutes just stretching this is a lot faster, it gets everything done, and you're perfectly warmed up prior to, to lifting, so I highly suggest this routine. And then over the head, banded pull aparts. Again, just using my lats to pull the band out and stretch it out. Alright, and then here, what I do is I wrap the band around the, the bar. Um, sometimes I'll do it up above, sometimes I'll do it about mid-shoulder height. All I'm going to do here is just walk forward, apply some tension in the band, and allow my arm to move freely just like this. All you're doing is, again, it's kind of like a, a version of flossing. You're just essentially breaking up scar tissue, moving around, loosening everything up. Uh, this shoulder especially has been a little grindy lately. That's just going to happen when you have as much volume as I do in, in bench any pressing movements but uh, I actually found a cue today that worked really well something I kind of got away from a little while and I rediscovered it and so there's actually not much shoulder pain in a lot of my pressing movements but I also contribute that to this right here so I do it to the front to the back as you'll see it just loosens everything up Everyone I've always recommended this to, as soon as they stop doing it, they, they let go of the band and it's like almost instant relief from any tightness that they might have had prior to doing this, so highly recommend it. Alright guys, that's it for my bench warm-up. Uh, I will also do my squat and deadlift warm-up as well, eventually. And then at the end of the week, I will have my full lifting split. See you guys.